up all my devil dogs? It's your boy Sean Ali, Strength Corps Line Fire Star General. It's Saturday. I wanted to just give you guys a quick video because I did promise you guys I would give you a video. Usually on Saturdays, what I'm thinking I'm going to start doing starting next Saturday, I always wanted to do what was called Saturday Science, where basically I'll take like something scientific and break it down for you, whether it be like protein needs or uh, the best rep ranges or, you know, just something like that, you know. But I want to have time to actually look into the different studies and look into the different you know, aspects of whatever topic I'm going to be talking about before I go ahead and just post a video, you know, off the top of my head so I can have like stats, some studies for you guys to go and see. Because, you know, throughout the week you guys see my personality and yeah, I know what I'm talking about, but I'm sure some people get the impression that like, I'm just a bro, I don't know anything. Like, no, I actually read studies and stuff from time to time, you know, I mean, I have other things I'm studying right now, obviously for school and the fire academy and stuff like that, but uh, I definitely want to get you guys some scientifically based videos. I mean, that's not like my whole channel. My channel is more aimed to just, you know, the... The, the standard population who just wants to know generally how to, you know, burn fat, build muscle, whatever. You know, just get in shape overall. But a lot of people do want to know the science behind stuff. And it kind of gives you more of a, I guess a say-so. You know, it makes your word more credible. Uh, it gives you more credibility is the word I'm looking for. Um, because when you have science to back you up, it's fact. It's not something that, you know, you're just kind of saying based off of your opinion or based off of trying to put two and two together. So what I want to talk to you guys today about basically um, is, uh, you, know, you saw the title of the video. Um, the video is going to be about how you can actually do less work and lose more weight or get more results in terms of gaining uh, muscle or burning fat, whatever your you know goal is. A lot of people, what they'll tend to do is they like to work out every single day. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I work out six times, sometimes seven times a week. I'm at least doing cardio. Like, I think I work out every day. Some days it may just be cardio. Like, Sunday is my rest day, but I do like to wake up, maybe do a little bit of ab work if I'm feeling it, or a little bit of cardio. Um, I just like to be active every day, you know. Um... It's just, you know, me personally, I feel that every day I want to get up and get active, especially since I don't really have a super active job at the moment. Um, and I mean, yeah, I do go to class and stuff, but I do sit in lectures for like three to four hours. So that's not really super active either. Um, but, you know, that's just something that I, I, you know, tend to like to do is to just be active every day. And there's nothing wrong with that. But what a lot of people do is... Um, They'll be active or they'll lift weights every day, for instance, but people will break it down into body parts. And I'm sure this has been covered in a lot of other videos. I know my uh, my boy Marcellus Williams, he's covered this. The Swole Fester, he's covered this in a few videos. I know John Cannon's touched on it. Um, you know, plenty of other people have touched on this, this topic. But... Um, a lot of people don't understand the fact that you can actually do less work and get more results, guys. Uh, a lot of times people burn themselves out and they're not even doing what's basically, I guess, the most efficient thing. You know, people always complain that they don't have enough time for the gym or, you know, it, it you know coincides with too much scheduling conflicts or whatever. There's always an excuse. And you guys know what I say about excuses. They only sound good to the pe the person actually making the excuse. Everybody else is kind of just like, uh, okay, so, and? <laughs> but anyways, um, what I wanted to basically uh, break down for you guys is this, man. Uh, there's a few different routines that you can use based on how many days that you have available. So I'm just going to break down a couple of them for you and hopefully this will help a couple people out there. Um, okay, that's just Google News trying to tell me about the world that we live in. So the first uh, type of split we can talk about, we're going to talk about body part splits, which is the most inefficient way to train. Um, I've said this before in other videos that if you prefer to do uh, body part splits because it keeps you focused, it keeps you motivated, then that's better than not working out at all. I'll say that. You know, it's probably the least efficient, but if you feel like you'll be bored or you'll quit doing another type of routine, then yeah, just stick with your body part split. I'd rather you be working out doing a ineffective or not ineffective but just a less effective workout as opposed to you not working out at all okay so if you're a person and body part splits is all you can do you've tried everything else you don't like it and body part splits is the only thing that does it for you do your body part splits now let's say you have six days available for you right the best thing to do in those six days in my opinion this is just my opinion you know there's no facts or science behind this is just my opinion putting two to two together all right this is not saturday science yet but what i would say to do is if you have six days available i would either do one of two things i would do 
push pull legs and repeat it that way you're hitting everything twice a week you're hitting your push muscles so your chest your shoulders triceps you're hitting your pulling muscles your traps your back your biceps you're doing all that uh and of course legs we don't skip legs here all right you're doing all that twice a week if you have six days to um to train you can either do it three days on and take a day off and then do the other three days you can do six days in a row with a sunday off or whatever however you want to do it or if you have six days available what you could do you could actually do upper lower three times and then you're hitting everything three times a week which is even more effective especially i'm talking about natural lifters here guys because i'm a natural lifter and i'm assuming like 90 percent of you 90 probably like 95 percent or close to 100 percent of you guys are natural out there um, you know, most people are, you know, most people are in it just to be fit and in shape. Uh, the people who do choose to go the route of taking, you know, performance enhancing drugs usually are people who are trying to take it to the next level, become pros or whatever. And I respect that, you know, it's your body. You can do what you want. But I talk in terms of general lifters who are natural. Okay. So, um, by hitting your muscles three times a week, uh, you're stimulating protein synthesis much more effectively because as a natural lifter after about 24 up to 48 hours 48 hours is for like the genetically elite okay after those 48 hours or usually it's around like 30 36 for the average person um your protein synthesis is done that muscle is done growing so that's like a day and a half so if you're only hitting it once a week like with a body part split you're leaving a lot of gains on the table if you're doing push pull legs you're hitting it twice a week you're still leaving some gains on the table but if you're doing uh, upper body, lower body, and you're doing that three times a week, yeah, it's going to be taxing. But let me tell you, your protein th synthesis, try saying that 10 times fast, is going to be highly elevated. You're probably going to get damn near the best bang for your buck. So you can do something like upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, rest, upper body, lower body. Or did I do that right? Yeah, that's six days. I, I don't know. I forgot how to count for a second. But. Uh, that would be probably the best two if you have six days available. If you have five days available, right? What I would say to do, I would say the most effective thing. Uh, I wouldn't do push pull legs. I would either do this. I would do an upper lower, upper lower, and then upper. And then the next week, you could just do the reverse. Instead of doing three uppers and two lowers, you do three lowers and two uppers. That's pretty effective. Or you can do upper lower, upper lower, and then maybe on that fifth day, you can do like a full body but something that's just body weight you know what i'm saying not something that's going to be super heavy or super taxing i think those would be pretty effective as well if you only have four days then of course i'm going to tell you to do an upper lower upper lower right or you can do three full bodies with one day doing like you know some uh i guess cardiovascular work sprints um jump rope something to get your heart rate up maybe do a little bit of accessory work type of stuff or whatever on body parts you really want to work on but that would be the best thing now if you only have three days to work out um some people are very busy uh some people may have like friday saturday sunday which kind of sucks um, but even if you want to do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, a lot of times that's good for beginners because it keeps them consistent without telling them, hey, you got to be in a gym every single day. That can turn some people off. Okay, if you have three days to work with, I'm going to tell you right now, you can do a push-pull legs, but the most effective thing to do is going to be three full body workouts, man. Just find three days, preferably not consecutive because you don't want to be doing full body Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you're going to burn yourself out. If you can do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, just giving yourself a day in between to recoup and recover, that's going to give you the best bang for your buck. Um, and that actually, I would say a lot of people hitting those three days of full body are going to get more results than somebody who's doing uh, once a week body part split uh, training. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it. If I have a day just for my arms, right, just biceps, triceps, forearms, right, I'm hitting that once a week. If I'm doing full body, I'm using my biceps, triceps, and forearms every single time I'm working out. So that's three times a week I'm hitting them. Think about it. Anytime I do any row, my biceps are involved. Anytime I do any press, my triceps are involved, all right? If I'm not using straps when I'm doing my back exercises or even when I'm holding and stabilizing the bar at the bench press, my forearms are being activated. And that's happening three times a week as opposed to just one. So you got to think about that too. 
Um, I know a lot of people will argue that, yeah, but if I'm doing arms or if I'm doing back, then I'm kind of hitting arms, so it's kind of twice a week. It is, but let's be real. The, a movement for your back is going to be much more beneficial in terms of overall muscle gains than a move for your biceps, okay? Your biceps are this big, your back is like this big, okay? So if you only have three days, I'm going to always say, yo, go full body. If you're really not into full body, um, then do push-pull legs. That will probably be the next best alternative. If you only have two days to work out. Now, if you only have two days, you better have a really good excuse. Like, you better be like a like working for NASA or some shit, you know? You better be a pretty damn busy person as to where you're really just, you're really squeezing these two workouts in. Like, you really should be doing something else, but you know your health is important and that's why you're doing two days. That's really the only time that's acceptable. Again, I'm gonna say the best is gonna be two full body workouts, but you could do an upper lower, um, just so you're hitting all of your muscles at least once a week. Um, it's not, it's not going to be the most efficient or the most uh, optimal, right? Everybody likes to throw that word around. It's not going to be the most optimal, but it's going to be um, better than not working out at all, okay? I'm not even going to give you guys anything for one day. If you only have one day to work out, you're lying to yourself, okay? If you only get in the gym one day, of course I'm going to tell you to do a full body workout, but let's be real. If you're only going once a week, it's like, it's, why, why are you bothering? You know what I'm saying? Once a week is not going to really do much for you. It'll do something, but at that point, it's like, come on, bro. Like, you can at least squeeze in two to three days. So, hopefully this video, um, I know it's been a little bit lengthy, but that's okay. I mean, it's Memorial Weekend. I'm sure you guys will have plenty of time to watch this at some point. I appreciate all the views and the, the subscribers and comments and everything that's been coming my way. I'm going to try this weekend to work on a cool video for you guys on Monday. I'm not going to promise the Hodge Twins video, but I'm going to try and come up with a really cool video for you guys. Because I know you guys like those type of video presentations. So look out for that on Monday. Um, I'm going to try and vlog. I'm going to try and do a lot of different things this coming week. All right, Trying to get back to my Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday video grind. Don't forget the orders. Subscribe and share. Like and comment. Follow my social media. Until next time, all my devil dogs, dismiss. I'm a general, a nigga. I'm a general, a I'm a general, a nigga. I'm a general, a I'm a general, a nigga. I'm a general. I'm a general, a nigga. I'm a general.